Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing a celebrity psychic reading on uh, Faza. Uh, Faza is Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum. Uh, and he is the Prince of Dubai. For those of you that are not aware of who he is, he is the Prince of Dubai. And um, But he goes by, well, he's publicly known by uh, on Instagram and other social media platforms as Faza. Um, so if I did pronounce his name wrong in advance, I apologize. I'm not good with, um, you know, pronoun pronouncing names. Um, so I hope I, I was pretty close. But I'm going to get into what I see for him. Um, I remember actually doing, um, well, being on Instagram and following him uh, and then seeing all of these photos um, come up on my feed and I was very intrigued and I felt very drawn to him for some reason um, and it wasn't you know anything else but like a spiritual connection that I felt uh, to this man I um, immediately looked into his eyes and I saw a pure soul so again um, I'm, I'm not Middle Eastern I'm not from Dubai I have no clue about him other than pictures that I've seen and so this is going to be all psychic insight that I get um I will say that um he's very different from his brothers and from his family uh and there are rumors I don't know if it's true that he was recently married three days ago um and spiritually that may be you know true but what I'm going to give you is into his love life and his family and what I see for him now um with him he's a very different uh type of person than from his family and from his brothers I feel like his heart is is pure like I said and he really cares for the people of Dubai unlike his father which is a great man you know uh I don't know his father but um what I get is that he's very different and he stands apart from his his family even though he loves them and family comes first for everything uh faza has just this like ability um and people can relate to him and i feel like he's like the princess diana of dubai you know in many ways even though he's a prince um i feel like he is like you know i'm just using that as an example so people can understand i feel like he's very generous whereas maybe his brothers and his family may not be as generous if they you know were to come across somebody on the road that you know was in need of some money or needing some food um i feel like he would give the the shirt off his back whereas some of his brothers may not be so um generous um so right now i see that he is working on a lot of projects uh things that he would be doing you know for the kingdom you know for dubai uh for the people there's a lot of different aspects and things that he is going to be working on and doing and i see right now a lot of it is focused on finances and where money is going it's almost like i see like he would be wor working on programs and ways to improve the lives of people that live in his country um he's very invested in humanitarian efforts and so again um he's not your average you know uh, Prince. I feel like he goes above and beyond. Whereas when we consider like Prince William and, and Prince Harry from Britain, it's a little different with them. I don't feel like they take the same kind of consideration. You know, it, they're just, everyone's different. But, um, what I get behind this, if, um, his love life is like his parents like wanted him to be with someone and this is like, again, I don't feel like necessarily if he did get married, that this would be, uh, his soulmate. I feel like it's an arranged type of thing. There may be some chemistry, there may be some attraction, but it's not anything that would be long lasting and very, um, just lasting for a long time. I feel like there is a lot of, uh, like a third party relationship. I feel like even though he may be in a union with someone or seeing someone right now, uh, like I said, there's rumors that he's been married. Um, I feel like there, and I see that there is definitely somebody else that loves him, another female, but for some reason they cannot be together. Maybe the family doesn't agree and they come from a different background, but there is definitely another person that is his person, his soulmate that is out there. And I feel like they, he knows who that is, but he cannot be with her. Um, so again, I do get that um, this whole, you know, union, this whole love life of his is going to have some struggles because his heart is not going to be in that place. Um, 
and you know now he's he's 36 years old and he is uh, a Scorpio so very strong natured very strong willed um, you know very passionate about things but there's a lot of mystery to him and he um, he is definitely a healer because you can tell by the eyes well at least I can um, when I look at people from photographs if they have a caring gentle soul so he definitely came to earth with a specific mission and purpose and I really feel like it was to help other people here on the planet and especially in Dubai and other countries um, I feel like he's always worried about other countries as well um, and I don't get greed from him it's not all about the money and the popularity for him he is young he's still living his life and he's still wanting to enjoy that but um, I feel like there is like a loss deep in his heart, uh, in his soul regarding all of this, uh, these changes that are taking place within his family and his brothers. Um, you know, there's going to be some uh, ups and downs in the family dynamic. Uh, like, I don't feel like all the brothers would get along all the time. There may be some differences. Uh, and, you know, the father is, is up in age. So it's like... Um, you know, there's there's a lot of decision making that has to be done and a lot of planning. And he may decide to eventually, you know, kind of spend some time in a different country. Like it could be in the UK. It could be a different part of Europe or even the United States. But I don't feel like he's going to definitely stay just in Dubai. Um, again, they have lo um, their own laws or their own, you know, rules for um, that type of government, etc. But what I get from all of this is that um, there are some positive changes, something new that he's working on, like I said, a development. And I keep seeing a lot of uh, buildings. And so I don't know if he's if his family or him are buying properties and renovating them over there in Dubai. But there's a lot of properties that are being acquired. Um, and that's what I'm getting from that. And so he's creating more money for the family. But I also feel like the family is involved in a lot of different kind of um things that are uh, dealing with property, real estate, um, taxes, and things like that. So um, for him himself, I see that he definitely is working very hard. There is going to be a point at some point in his life within the next, you know, two to three years or even further out that he does, you know, uh, decide to go ahead and see another lady and I do feel like there may be a child that will be ha that he will have with that other person um, so that could cause some scandals among you know the the monarchy or the you know the um, structure of the family um, that is in Dubai you know his family um, really and truly I see a mother figure being very um, ruling by like an iron fist, very tough lady. I feel like she also has a, a strong opinion. So he's going to listen to like his mom or his uh, a female that would be like a mother-like figure to him uh, and really pay attention to what she's having to say. And it's kind of, ru he's ruled by that at some point. But I feel like she is more open-minded. She's not like the dad and not like other family members within this family. And so I feel like, and I see that she is a little bit more open in giving him, kind of pointing him and giving him different options. She ultimately wants to see her boys, you know, and see the family happy. Uh, but again, the other brothers that, that would have been married or, you know, are now with their own mates, their own partners, spouses, um, I feel like they may be more content than Faza. And again, I feel like... A, just like he didn't want to necessarily get married or be together with someone. So again, that's coming in very strongly here that there is definitely um, opposition when it comes to his heart and a feeling of being trapped in a situation that he is definitely going to get out of eventually. But um, right now it's all about money. And I feel like the father and the key people that are his advice, you know, like the advisors and that work in that government system of Dubai, they are very focused uh, for some reason on, uh, you know, just money. And it's like greed. I, I see a lot of greed and it's, this may not settle well with Faza and kind of pulls them away from like interacting with them or wanting to really do a lot of the things that they do. Because I do feel like some of the um, 
some people, and I won't say which ones, but and his family may not be loyal to the females and the family. And I just will say that I, I feel like there is a lot of that that goes on uh, within this family itself. There are a lot of lies, a lot of secrets, cover ups and things that he would now know that he may not be, you know, uh, in agreement with and may not respect at the same level but i do feel like they're trying to enforce and kind of mold him like people in his family want to mold him to be kind of like them but he is resisting that and so again there is a talk of from spirit that he is going to be reuniting with someone and he does have quite a battle ahead um even though he is a good soul usually good souls are the ones that have a lot of challenges in this lifetime and so for him He's going to be going places and traveling and studying because I feel like he still continue, continues to study different things when he has time. Um, but I feel like he wants to really like pull away from the family and kind of venture off and do his own thing and create a name for himself. But again, there is a lot of, of that being held back. Um, and eventually there's going to be like some he's going to have to stand his ground because I feel like right now he's very, you know, a good person good-hearted person and that will never change but i feel like he may be kind of to the point where he feels obligated if that makes sense uh to serve you know uh, his father or the family uh the government you know the the place that they live in uh versus of being free and being free to be able to do what he wants to accomplish i do sense that there's a lot of men that are jealous of him needs to be very careful because again i see that there is some backstabbing here from spirit um definitely a lot of people within his own family this could be brothers that are going to play some dirty tricks on him um you know it's very sad that that would happen and again i if he was to listen to this or you know his family i don't mean this to be disrespectful but there's some darkness here i definitely see some darkness and i see um i see something very uh how would i say this there is like a mourning that will be going on within the family uh, definitely like a mourning uh you know sorrow uh that is is, cir is circling the family and this is all because of like i said there is some men in the family. These could be friends, people that work inside the, that government, you know, that structure uh, and the family dynamic that are not the best. And they're putting on like a facade that he needs to watch for and be very mindful of. Because I, I do see like within um, within a year or so that, you know, this is very possible that he's going to start seeing some people for their true colors and the masks are going to fall. And when that does, he's going to be moving away from all of them and kind of um, having his own space and his own uh, victory. But it's going to be challenging for him because, again, he doesn't like conflict and he's going to have to choose between two different directions, choosing his family or choosing to be with someone else that he truly loves and being to himself, you know, and um, doing what he loves. So again, he's going to have to choose between his family and his own pursuits because again, everything is being very conflicted here from what spirit is showing me and what I'm getting intuitively. Um, you, you know, and it's going to be like a birth of a new cycle for him. Uh, people go through different cycles all the time. And when we go through like hardships with our families and at different points in our life, you know, we go through marriages and we're unhappy and things like that happen. There is a, a shifting and a turning point uh, for for people. And it's something that cannot be avoided. So who he's he is going to wind up with or has already you know winded up with right now that's a temporary situation that's not going to really last even though the parents and the family like i said may want it to um there's a lot of different problems that are happening in the family that i feel like the media and the people that live in dubai may not really realize how much drama is occurring behind the scenes i don't feel like the family is very peaceful there's a lot of ups a lot of people against each other there's a lot of um you know if this person gets certain attention the other person doesn't you know then and there's like a comp competitive that's how it comes across almost like 
every brother and every family member is competitive against each other. This is more predominant among the males than the females. And with the females, I feel like there is this, you know, um, more of a bond. But I feel like also there is also some opinions against and pettiness that is being shared, you know, with the generations and the family. And um, these could be cousins, you know, sisters, um, just people in his family. That's j as general as I'm going to put it. Um, and I'm not going to say any more on it, but he's going to be okay. Um, and he's, we're definitely going to continue to see him grow and blossom as a, the, you know, one of the princes or the prince of Dubai. Uh, but I really, really, um, look forward to seeing his growth and, um, seeing him just continue to, to find his happy place because I do feel like in deep within, um, he is happy with certain things, but he's not happy with entirely with his family, if that makes sense. So um, I'm wishing the people of Dubai uh, many, many blessings and angel hugs. And I hope that um, I will be doing some more readings. So if y'all know any other personalities that are in other countries like India or Dubai um, or in the Middle East uh, that you'd like for me to do readings on, please comment in the comment section below of this video. I will be doing people from, you know, other countries. And I'm going to still be getting to people like from Korea um, and doing those kind of readings. So if you know people that are celebrities in these countries, please comment in the comment section below. I'm all about changing it up, not just focusing on the U.S. celebrities, but international as well. So many blessings and love and light. If you'd like to book a private psychic reading with me, you can visit my website here. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Psychic Medium Ray. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week ahead. <laughs>